Catlip. I'm Lucy from the blog shinythoughts.net. It's a colourful lifestyle blog that focuses on things that I'm wearing, places that I'm going and things like my room. So welcome to my university room. As you can probably see it's really colourful and really fun and one of my favourite things to have on my desk are plants because they just add a little bit of greenery and just really freshen up your room. I'm a huge tea drinker. When I was a student I probably had about five cups a day and this here is very important as well. Don't forget your bicky. The number one thing that students can't do is put things up on walls, but these you can because they are sticky on the back but reusable so that you can pop them on any surface you like and they won't leave a mark. This fab good vibes banner from Urban Outfitters was about £12 and I think it's a brilliant addition to your room as well as being useful to use if you're having a party. You're not going to ruin your walls and it really makes an impact. So my personal style is all about colour which is why I've gone for a nice bright theme in my room. So this bedspread is the perfect one for me and if you're feeling a little blue you can always turn it over and have the striped side instead. Make sure you have a nice big alarm clock to wake you up after those nights out. And you can add some lovely homely touches, such as this really cute print, which reminds me of all my trips to Paris. If you're a colour lover like me, you needn't be boring with your essentials. Even my bin is yellow. So there you have it. This is my colourful, fun student room, somewhere that I'd quite like to hang out in as well as study in. And I hope you do too. Good luck. My name's Catherine, I write a blog called Cat Got The Cream, which is a lifestyle blog covering all the things I love like fashion, interiors and my family home life. I haven't really gone for um, a hard and fast theme but I just wanted to make sure that the room was really modern and vibrant and colourful but also tried to make sure it was quite versatile. I chose this um, bedding set from Redoute. It comes in a range of different colours and sizes so it really should suit anyone. One of the things I really like doing is creating kind of evolving wall displays using this washi tape which means you can put up prints and posters and it doesn't make any marks on the wall which is great because in rented accommodation obviously you're not really allowed to bang holes in the walls and it's also about adding personality and, and sort of your identity to the room a bit. In terms of the most expensive item in the room, that would be this rug, which is £35 from Urban Outfitters. Anything that kind of cheers up a boring floor is going to be good. One of the reasons I went for this black and white pattern is monochrome just goes with absolutely everything, so it's really versatile. I think the smartest buy was probably this Tam Tam stool, which is by Habitat, sold via Argos. It's only £15, but it's a real design classic. Uh, as you see here, there's a bedside table but you could also use it for a desk or to offer a visitor another seat. My favourite item in the room is this um, angle poise lamp, which is from B&Q actually, but it's a real classic. Hi, my name is Matt and I run men's fashion design and lifestyle blog, Buckets and Space. Student lifestyle is all about being comfortable because you're going to work really hard, hopefully. So I've tried to keep things as comfy as possible, keeping it homely and sticking to a theme of yellow and working with basics around it. So my top tips for keeping the budget down in a small room like this is to bring as many things from home as possible. So we're talking little things that remind you of home. So I brought a little Blackpool Tower, uh, stationery and always look for the sales. So Check out some voucher codes, look for student discounts, bargain bins, there's always some great stuff to find. Some great inspiration to decorate your student halls are Pinterest, design blogs and catalogues. My favourite piece in the room is the doormat. Be my guest. It was $7.99 from Tiger. Sorted. So there's going to be plenty of work going on at university, so you want to make your student halls as comfy as possible. Choose relaxing colours like yellow and grey. 
familiar stationery and plenty of books to read. So beds are traditionally for sleeping on, but if you turn the pillows to the side, it turns into a couch. And you've got your mates around, a few games, beers, you're all sorted. So my main splurge item is the John Lewis yellow and grey pillow. It's 20 quid, which may seem expensive, but you can change the cover each year. Hopefully you've enjoyed my student hall's tips today. If you like what you've seen, check out my blog, Buckets and Spades, and you can find me on Twitter at Matt underscore Buckets. Hi, I'm Lisa and I blog over at Matilde Hartmanek. Um, my blog is about home, craft and fashion. My top tips for accessorising this kind of space on a budget uh, is focusing on three things. Um, so textiles, um, you can get really great bargains. I chose bargain sort of cushions, which you can get for about £5. Lighting, which is always great, adds a bit ambience to a room. And also colour, I think colour um, brings it all together as well. Um, always looking for the best deals, of course. So my smartest buy is this Wilkinson's duvet and it has a gorgeous chevron black and white print but also for double your money it's reversible so you have the striped print as well. The door stop is a great way to prop up your door so then you can invite friends in. So my favourite find is the paper bag. It's a storage bag, it's really really strong, it's made from craft paper and you can put your folders and papers and things like that in. It's also a great design, uh, so it says the paper bag on the front, turn it around, it says Le Sac en Papier. Hi guys, my name is Jen Wilson. I blog over at fromjenwithlove.com and today I am here to show you how to dress up a student room into a home on a minimum budget. When you come to uni, everything is usually in magnolia, so you can start from scratch. Places like Argos and Wilkinson's do great homeware for quite cheap. Also, supermarkets always have great deals, so when you're going shopping for your pasta and your pesto, have a look, pick up a few of those. I've chose just the one flat colour grey, so I decided to use texture in that to make it a little bit more interesting. This cushion was from Argos. You can use it to dress up your bed or for just something for your friends to rest on as there's not a lot of seating in uni dorms. These lamps were a great bargain. I picked them up from Argos for a set of two. It's just £13, so you could put one on your side table and one on your desk. One of the cheapest and most versatile items that you can buy for your uni room is a pinboard. It's great for storing all your photos, memories, all your club flyers and prompts for your coursework. I find my main inspiration from Pinterest. They have great bloggers and all different stylists.